Uh, Where are we going? To Costco. We're gonna shop what we need for the trip. I have my chef here with me. Not, not so far. Yeah. Uh, chef here with me. So we're gonna show you guys what I need to shop uh, to prepare myself for the Armstrong Strongman Classic. Let's go. All right, guys. We are in Costco. We're gonna show you guys basically what I need. Uh, my dad is staying at every B, so he's gonna be meal prepping, meal prepping all my meals. Um, they told me they don't have a good pan, so this looks like a good pan. Couple of cars are here. Alright. So okay. we have a pan, right? I have a pan, we have a pan, so like I said, my dad is staying at Airbnb. Um, not the best, we don't have everything that we like to have, you know, not a great pan, so we're gonna buy a new pan for him. Uh, what else do we need? That? Some meat, right? Some rice? Yeah, we need some, we need some, some, we need some meat and rice, obviously. But like for the kitchen, is there anything else we need for, for the kitchen? I think you can't buy it. Uh, you need to buy but, uh, no, 12 tuition or something. <laughs> 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 we you can't buy, buy it here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we need to buy a whole kitchen, okay? Okay, so we need to... Uh, eat. <laughs> okay. I, I turn around for one minute and you've added what? Carrots, broccoli, bananas. Raspberries, blackberries, spinach. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's keep on. Let's uh, look at the meats, right? Let's check out the meat. Yeah. Choices, man. A lot better than at home. A lot better. Yeah. That's good because I don't really have bison at home. It's nice to ha have that, you know. Yeah. Uh, nice and tasty. Okay, there's a lot here now. There's a lot here now. So now we found some sourdough bread. We found some uh, ready cooked rice that are super convenient and easy. We found some uh, chicken stock. Cheese. Oh, the broccoli. Oh, the broccoli. You bought some meat as well? Bought meat, plenty of meat here. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, getting full. So if, when you're Icelandic and you go to the States to hey, something like this, it. you're like... Yep, we about? took it. You're like, this is uh, like Candyland, huh? This is literally like Candyland. Like yeah. Costco, uh, Costco in the States is amazing compared to Costco in Iceland. Like they have everything. Like even this. Even this, look at this. Like organic hard-boiled eggs. It's so fucking convenient and easy. And this here. You know, cooked sticky white rice. You know, it's, it's super amazing. It's convenient and like I don't know, like, everything is just convenient. You yeah. Know? All right. It was hectic when you go with so many people. I went with my parents, grandparents, my friends, and uh, when so many people are going to Costco to shop, it takes a while. But it was a good trip though. We bought everything, everything that we need uh, for our stay here, so that's good. Now we can just go back. Um, um, I eat some food. It's mm. time to eat. Mm. Do you agree? I agree. It's time to eat. Mm. But yeah, this was a this is a good trip. Cost me four hundred and four dollars um, to shop. We bought a lot of stuff. And you're buying like pans and pots and stuff. Pans, pots, mm. like and everything in bulk. You know, yeah. a lot of stuff. So uh, that's might sound a lot for some of you guys, but. Not if you're Icelandic. I eat a lot. And the price of food in Iceland is ridiculously high. Yeah. So considering this is gonna last me five days. Five days and you know <laughs> six meals a day. That is good. That is good. Like that's that's cheap. You would easily spend a lot more in Iceland. Yeah. Four or five days. So like if you skip the pots and pans and stuff, it's like around ten dollars a meal or less, which is ridiculously good. Ridiculously cheap nowadays, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So pretty good, pretty good shopping. All right, guys, we are here at the Rogue Fitness facility. Um, I'm just about to do some light stuff, stretch a little bit, um, 
gonna soft a bit, you know, I just finished my meal, so I always do 10 minutes uh, of walks or a bike run after my meals and just basically look around, you know, it's nice to be here, nice to uh, look at all the beautiful equipment and to get some movement in, you know, I'm not gonna train much or barely anything, you know, just more, just like move my body, get some blood flow, uh, yeah. I'm excited. I always, feel, I always come here when I compete. Always, always come to the road facility when I compete because I feel like it's like a habit. I need to come here um, and uh, just before I compete, you know. Bike ride, for the meals. That has helped me so much. Just with my appetite. I keep saying this, but uh, this is the key to eat more. If you don't do your 10 minutes walks, you will. Well, I at least have a lot of the time in consuming a lot of food again in two or three hours. But don't do it. Like, I still feel full. I ate like an hour ago. I usually do it, usually do it right after I eat, but we were just coming here, so I just thought I'll just do it at the, at the um, Rogue headquarters. Um, Not a bad spot. It's the best spot to do it. Mm -hmm. Best spot to do it. Really. <laughs> The boys training. Let's go, let's go. She calema. Huh. Give me, give me, give me 15 more guys, come on. Come on, Andre. Andre, come on. Finish with biceps. <laughs> How are you feeling man? Pumped. You're pumped? Yeah. You, you don't know how you doing? I'm very pumped. I'm very good. You're good? Feel good, yeah. Nice. The sheer bell. It's pretty cool, huh? That's, that's cool. So, all done stretching? All done. We did some stretching. We did some bike. Uh, 10 minutes bike. So, just super easy stuff, you know. Uh, I always like to come here. Just do some. Easy piece of stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now to eating. Now go eat. Now we're gonna go to my parents' Airbnb. Uh, my friend Andre, he's gonna milk up a little bit. Um, I think we'll have a chef. My dad. <laughs> he's cooking my meals. So I don't have to worry about that. But uh, <laughs> let's go yeah, out. let's let's go. We're we're out. Peace and love, guys. Wait, wait. You're very uh, subtle. I'm very sad. I'm very full. Very full. We're gonna go now to time it works because that's the only thing that works. Actually, I need my I need my room key. Why? Uh, because I otherwise I. Watch out. Before. So you just finished. Finished dinner. Just finished dinner. Now we're going to time it works. It's actually. It's actually like eight minutes right now. So we're gonna do. 10 minutes walks and then ah, at least I am going to go to my room and get ready for bed. I'm fucking exhausted. Okay. I had the worst sleep ever, probably, at least a long time. I usually, I usually on average sleep seven and a half to eight hours, I'd say. What would you? Seven hours. Seven hours? I, uh, I prioritize my sleep. I really try to prioritize my sleep because uh, I, know how, I know how important that is for my performance and recovery. 
Um, there's days when I sleep six hours, very rarely days seven hours, but usually eight plus. I really always try to aim for that. Uh, You're gonna get that, get that tonight. One hundred percent. Especially if I go to sleep on the right, at the right time. I only started two and a half years ago. Fast, 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 fast. Let's go, let's go. You get a picture. You earned it. You earned it, man. Okay, do you mind? Right, we're about to go check out the Stroman Arena. Uh, we broke in. We broke in. Don't tell anyone, anyone, guys, okay? Keep it a secret. I'm excited. Apparently, it's a lot bigger, better, uh, more seating arena for the fans, which is cool. So I'm excited to see how it looks like. It's cool to walk here when no one is here. Yeah. Just everyone is just putting. Up, well, no one is here now, but people have clearly been here putting up the booth, you know. So it's cool. Well. Uh, Who's here? Oh, look who's here. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? I'm a little devil. I'm a little devil. I was skinny by then. Can, can you guys see the fluffiness in my face now versus here? The cream is up on the side of Luna. Good. The cold of Luna. He looks He looks more kind now. Yeah, kind now. Oh, or kind? evil there. Yeah, you can. We have walked this entire hallway yep. and we've seen plenty of photos of you. This is pretty fucking huge. Yeah. What does this make you feel? Does oh it, shit. Does it, uh, does it still tingle like butterflies in your stomach? Or? It does. You know, it makes you excited to like just to see everything here, getting set up, getting ready. You know, I know not the more, but you know, Friday things are getting serious. I'm gonna go Pete. Um, you always get butterflies. That, 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 that never goes away. Uh, I always get excited. I think I think that's normal. I always I also always get nervous as well. I think when you stop feeling the nerves, then you know you should probably retire. I retired because back in 2020 because not necessarily that that feeling went away, but more so that I felt, I felt like I needed a break, but now I feel the urge to come back. I feel the need to accomplish something bigger, something more. Like I want, I want to prove to the world that I, I, I can come back. I can become number one again. Go. We have a uh, we have a interview with the road team uh, before the competition tomorrow. So I'm excited. It's always fun to go and and do these kind of things. You know, uh, have some meetings today. Have some in yeah, have some interviews and and, and uh, later today we're gonna go check out the equipment as well. We can take you guys along. Along the way to see that, but uh, we'll show you some behind the scenes. At today. least we'll show you guys some behind the scenes, you know, a little bit. You know, we'll, we'll try our best to show you as much as we can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah hey, it's gonna fuck us. My time. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> that would be funny, actually. You're talking about what? Throwing Mitch? Mitch yeah, out? Mitch is. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, just taking his time answering these questions or something, because uh, it's my time now and he's still inside there. Or, or he came maybe late. I'm not sure what it was, but my time is now. How's your day been? My day has been easy, relaxed, finished two meals so far, just getting some hydration in my body, doing some interview right now in a little bit, so yeah. We woke perfect up a little day. Bit, woke up a little bit too early, huh? Well, I, I still got seven and a half hours, so I wouldn't complain. Um, I went to bed early though, I went to bed. I fell asleep probably 9, 30 p.m. Um, got the proper, proper seven and a half hours, so. Still, still a bit yawning today, still a bit tired. I think it's just a jet lag. Hopefully tomorrow I'm, um, 
feeling better regarding that. Um, Sebastian's here, no? Sebastian, my coach is here. He just came um, last night. So awesome to have him here. My friend Stefan Solve, uh, friend slash uh, secondary coach, is coming as well uh, tonight. Then we have the whole team. Um, awesome, I have a good, good crew, crew with me. Um, so yeah, nothing to do but to do it. Um, tomorrow, as most of you guys know, is the first event. We are doing the max deadlift, max deadlift and frame carry. Those are two events tomorrow. Then the Dini Stones, Dini Stones into the Axle and then the Trial by Stone event. Everything is good. Yeah, Chinese going well. Chinese is going well. Yeah. yeah. You had some growing yeah. issue? Yeah, it's only growing five yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Pretty but, bad. But, but back to normal? Pretty much. That's I just haven't been able to squat and prep, which yeah. isn't great for yeah. deadlifting. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. So out of all of the competitors, who's looking the biggest? The I'm not competing. Besides half the one. The man behind the camera. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. He's big. He's big. That's true. That's true. Just tell the truth. Uh, that's <laughs> the truth. Who was the biggest? Who was the strongest? Well, the, no one's taller than half Thor. Okay, so. All right, no one's taller. So sure. someone is. Someone. Someone. Someone is. Uh, Bigger and weight weight wise? I don't know. I haven't seen this is this is like the first year I haven't asked anybody the like, weight? what their weight is. How much do you weigh? It's a taboo question, maybe we can ask that nowadays. It's 2024. If you ask that you cancelled maybe? You asked how much a weigh? Really? What's wrong with you? No, I'm, just, I'm joking. <laughs> you probably can. Not the woman, not not the women though. That's just offensive. just just the men, apparently. Right? Maybe it's Oh my. Let's do some jiu-jitsu, bro. Let's go, man. Let's go. I've been training. You've been training? I've been training. For this moment? Oh, dude, you get the Leica? Yeah, of course. All right, guys. So we decided to skip the sauna because the sauna is not really convenient to me right now. Just I'm competing tomorrow. We're just going to do the cold plunge. I have the cold plunge here for the next 10 minutes. minutes. So uh, let's get started. Let's do the shower before. Uh, so we love you guys. Oh my god. Oh my shit! It's not supposed to happen over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> shit, man. The photo was supposed to happen. Fuck, man. Are you okay? I might die. <laughs> so, so a few more minutes. A few more minutes here and then is it? Um, a couple